First thing we want to do is go on over to GameDevHQ.com, FileBase.GameDevHQ.com, and let's look at our 9mm pistol. Let's drop that in, and let's go ahead and create a parent, empty parent game object above it called Beretta Position. And I can use that to kind of rotate the gun without affecting the uh, size and parameters of the Beretta and, you know, not to deal with the anchors. Let's go ahead and create a Beretta script that's blank, and we're also going to create an animation called Fire Beretta. And we're going to attach that to the main Beretta, and then we're going to go on over to our animation tab. And what we want to do is kind of uh, record the kickback, the uh, jump that the gun's going to make when it's fired. So when we do fire it, we're just going to tilt it back just a little bit. We're going to go to the curves panel and adjust the curve so it's a less of an easy ease and it's a sharper movement. I also want to go ahead and grab the top slide and I want to be able to animate that top slide. So I'm going to go to the Beretta top, add a keyframe and after you fire the weapon I'm going to add uh, another keyframe to where it stops and I'm just going to move the slide on that Beretta top back and play it back and take a look and it looks pretty dang good. Next, we're going to go over and get some muzzle flashes. We've got two of them over at file base that you can go ahead and grab, along with the smoke. And we're going to drag those particles in. Now, right now, they're set to loop and play on awake, so we're going to end up turning those off, and we're going to reposition this flash, this, this side angle muzzle flash, so it's centered on directly in front of the gun. Then we also um, want to go ahead and attach the next muzzle flash as well so that uh, when you're looking down the barrel of the pistol, you see that smoke burst and that is now your uh, muzzle flash that you see from that direction. So we're just going to kind of move that around, adjust the size, and make sure we don't have looping and play on awake, um, but otherwise we'll be able to just call the play button. Finally, we also want to add in some smoke. So we're going to add in the smoke particle. We're going to change this from right over time to burst, and we're going to change the gravity to a little bit lower. So it just leaves like a puff of smoke. Uh, you're also going to want to set these from the simulation space from local to world so that when you're moving around, the smoke stays in the world position rather than the local position. And then we want to add a point light. This point light is going to be the blinding light that you get from the muzzle flash. And we're going to want to warm that light up and jack up the intensity significantly. And we also want to reduce the range. We don't need this, um, you know, blast to be occurring throughout the entire game, just in the area we can see. Then uh, inside of our animation tab, we're going to go ahead and find that point light because it's a child and we're going to enable it and disable it in the animation sequence. So uh, we're going to turn it on and turn it off and just record those and make sure those look good.